next time you feel anxious, down, or maybe just need to talk, a Stanford researcher hopes that you'll reach for your phone. ABC 7 News anchor Natasha Zuves has the story of how a Bay Area app is now reaching people all over the world. I had this grandiose vision of like my freshman year. We've all heard the saying, college is supposed to be the best four years of your life. For Shishi Fang, though, freshman year was a quick lesson in how you can feel completely alone in a sea of 41,000 students. You're constantly surrounded by friends, and they're like, you have like thought provoking conversations, and then you're doing well, like uh, mentally and physically, and not gaining the freshman 15. <laughs> but then I realized, oh, it's, it's not like that. She found making friends was harder than it looks. Very confused and also like kind of lost. She says she fell into a deep depression. I don't know, like, I'm just a failure. One day, scrolling through social media, she saw information about Wobot, an artificially intelligent chatbot. She decided to give the free app a try. I just really needed someone to talk to that was like on demand and replies in an instant. And that's exactly what Wobot provides. The little yellow robot is part cheerleader, part friend, and well versed in cognitive behavioral therapy. As you type into it, it creates an emotional model of you over time, helping to change your thinking. The Stanford researcher who created it said she developed it after confronting the same problem over and over again. No matter how beautiful these therapies were that we were developing, um, they, it, it didn't really matter if nobody can access them. Dr. Dr. Allison Darcy, the CEO and founder of Wobot Lab, says she just wanted to improve access. About two thirds of people who have mental health problems will actually not see a clinician. She was floored by the results. In his first day of being launched, Wobot had had conversations with more people than any clinician could see in a lifetime. Dr. Darcy says Wobot is now far from home, active in Africa, the Middle East, and South Asia. In fact, he now receives two million conversations a week. And the data shows he gets results. A recent randomized Stanford study revealed people who use him had significant decreases in the symptoms of depression in two weeks and were likely to return to chat with him every day. Dr. Darcy is clear he's not meant to replace in-person and treatment. Of course, Wobot is no actual therapist, um, but he does a pretty good job of being a good coach, uh, a guide, and a friend, right, when you actually need something and there's no one around. She, she says depressed. it's worked for her. For instance, I would say like, oh, I'm failing everything. Wobot would ask you to rewrite your thought. I would say like, I am only failing a little bit and falling behind on my um, psychology class, but otherwise I'm, I've joined a soccer team and we won the latest game. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's found a group of friends. They're just as nerdy as I am. But still has the virtual friend who never gets too busy to check on her every day. Um, although I would like usually press the stews button on Wobot, I feel bad sometimes. Fortunately, this robot doesn't mind one bit. Natasha Zubes, ABC 7 News.